One of the one of the central questions we have to ask ourselves is, where can we go for guidance, especially in the in the midst of so many challenges? And this this work of guidance is what the universe does. There's a, there's a great story about this this bird, um, the red knot sandpiper, and it. It starts off in South America, and it flies all the way up to actually um, Canada, which is something like 9,000 miles. But I mean, it stops and feeds, and it goes a very particular route. <clears throat> and then when, the amazing thing is that it, it, way up north, it lays its eggs. And then um, after the chicks are born, they're fed for a while, and then the parents actually leave. And remarkably, the... Um, the young birds make their way back down, all the way down to the southern tip of South America uh, by themselves. They're not following their, their parents. So that there's, there's some way in which um, they're finding guidance, so the universe provides them with guidance. And we don't even know exactly how. They're, they're just recently we've discovered that there's a, a form of beetle that will actually um, navigate with respect to moonlight, the polarized moonlight, so that it's it's figured out a way to respond to these subtleties throughout the whole world of life. Um, we have guidance we call genetic. Then we come to the human, and our we're part of that. We're guided genetically as well, but we have this new way. Of, of shaping our energies, which we call language or, or symbol or culture. And that is um, summarized, at least in the way we're thinking about it here, in the terms of story. Every culture puts together a fundamental story that serves uh, a people in, in moving forward on central issues, central challenges. And we, so we don't have, we can't rely just upon the genes. We have to actually construct a cultural story. These take a long time to build sometimes. And what, what, is, what we see when we look back over history is that uh, stories run out of their own wisdom. They, they, they come to an end. Um, and and we have an account over thousands of years of many stories coming into being and then fading away. And we're uh, possibly in the midst of one of those moments where we have the emergence of a, of a new story. And our way of thinking about that here in this course is by a scientific understanding. But it is, it's one thing to have a new story begin to appear intellectually, but it's, it's, it's quite a different has to actually embody the story. And that I think that's what we see about us right now. We, there's so much confusion because there's a, there's a sense that our organizing wisdom is, is falling apart or is um, inadequate. But it's so hard to know what story to move forward with. One of the um, painful truths is that a a people will give up a story only if there is uh, an immense ordeal they're involved with. And one of, the, one of the clear examples of this is the, uh, the Romans. When they had a, a very particular story, you know, classical Rome, uh, then this, this gives away and then Christianity becomes the story. But it, it, so it took place in a time when the Roman Empire was falling apart. So it was decaying. Uh, the, the, the empire was out fighting wars all over the, the, the known world at that time. And the very center of the empire was collapsing. And our, um, it was in, that, in the midst of that collapse and the loss of faith in their own fundamental story that um, this new Christian story entered. And I think our own situation is very similar to that. We have, at least in the United States of America, but, but increasingly throughout the industrial world, we have a time of, of stress, and, and uh, in our case, in the, in the case of the United States, a lot of um, warfare in different parts of the planet. And in the center of our culture, there is a, a fundamental um, degradation 
and, and loss of meaning. It's one of the, the fundamental challenges of, of a person in industrial society is the sense of meaning. So we have um, a time when we were searching for, as a, as a species, we're really searching for a new story. And we, what we'll see increasingly is the, is the appearance of a fundamentalist view of the universe. Right now, the estimates are something like 50% of the human population is in one form of fundamentalism or another. And there would be another, um, say, 30-40% that would be involved with a modern uh, story. So the fundamental story of, of uh, either Christianity or Islam or Judaism um, or Hinduism, all of these classical stories uh, um, are alive very strongly in their fundamentalist, fundamentalist phase. And now we have the modern story where it's, it's all about uh, economic growth and development. But there's also a period. A new story, a story about the, the universe coming into being billions of years ago and developing and eventuating in our present moment. And then the question is, <clears throat> what is it? What is it that um, the human is here for? What's her role in the midst of all of this? These are the questions of the story. And I, my own sense is that the, the, the collapse of many of the life systems on the planet right now um, which terrorize us. This situation is going to continue for a certain period of time because the, the human cultures will not abandon these fundamental stories until the pain grows so deep. But while this is happening, uh, it's extremely important for some people to take on the leadership of learning the new story, learning the science itself, learning the details so that when the moment arrives, they can provide a telling of the story for others. And so that really is the focus of this course, to really learn this new story in some of its details.